Hey, this is Zero at PG Zone HD. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening up a total of 13 items, including two Play Doh surprise eggs and 11 blind boxes. Now we're going to start the video off by opening up these scribble knots unmasked first. And here's a look at some of the different figures that you can collect. We're still missing a couple from this series. Now, the last video I asked you guys what this character was, it ended up being Beast Boy. So thank you guys for leaving those comments to help figure that out. And from before I even turn this around, I can already tell this is gonna be Catwoman. So here's a look at Catwoman who seems to be missing an eyeball almost. Look at this. So you can you can really see her right eye over here, but you can't see this one. Look at this. Where's her eye? It's kind of like way in the background. <laughs> um, now, as I'm gonna go ahead and open the next couple blind boxes, I want to talk a little bit about some comments and where the channel is right now. So, I asked you guys to hit the like button, and you did. And I was really, really excited with how many views and how many likes those first two videos got. So I'm hoping, I have my fingers crossed, that I can actually return back to the channel and start doing many, many more videos for you guys. And I really, really appreciate all of you that took the time to comment, especially those that left a nice comment. That was really, really nice to see, <laughs> to say the least. All right, so for our fat cap, we have this guy, which this looks like a new one. I don't think I've gotten this one before. It's got some wings on the back, and these do rattle. It's kind of hard to hear, but it's, it's there. It's a really, really faint rattle. But here's a look at our Carolina Blue fat cap, who has two faces. So, you, you know, a lot of these, I'm starting to notice more and more of the fat caps have two faces. So that's really neat that you can turn those around. All right, so next up we have this guy. So this is Marvel Vinylmation series number one. Here's a look at some of the different figures that you can collect. And I do have Marvel series one, two, and three that I can show you guys here on the channel. So I'm probably gonna be doing a lot more of these. And it looks like we got Black Widow. Let me double check that, yeah. so. We got Black Widow, and she is right there, second row, the very first one. And this figure, this figure is actually pretty solid. There's no mess ups on the paint on the face or anything. A lot of the Vinylmations from this many years ago, a lot of them had kind of defects, to say the least. All right, so next up, we have Alice Through the Looking Glass. This is a mystery minis. Here's a look at some of the different figures that you can collect. I did get one of the Cheshire Cats. I think it was actually the rare at some point, but I have not gotten the common one. And for this one, we got a black bag. And inside the black bag, we got, wow, this thing is huge for a mystery mini. So we got this guy who is a one in 12. So. He's actually kind of a common, and look at this. So he, he's, he comes right out of the box needing to be cleaned up a little bit. He's got a little bit of dirt on his face there, but this is a pretty cool figure. It's definitely unique, and even, you know, look at this. So even his spots are kind of like messed up a little bit. That's a little unfortunate. I've noticed more and more lately, like the figures that we've been opening, they, they have, they're either dirty, dusty, or they just have paint defects on them. I guess because a lot of these figures are old. <laughs> so let's see what we got inside of here. We have, oh no, wah, wah, wah. So we have gotten this one in the past. This is one that we got, I wanna say either in the last video or the video before that. So what I'm gonna do for you guys, I'm gonna grab another one of these and we're gonna try again. So here we go, take number two. And as I'm opening this, I wanna tell you guys, I've been thinking a lot about what kind of video I wanna do for you guys. And I've actually decided that I wanna do a question and answer video. So if, and this is a big if, if we can get 20 questions on this video, as in you leave me a question in the comments, I will do a video answering all your questions that you have in the comment section of this video. So it looks like we got a two and 12, he's right here. And he's got two faces and two sides to his body, as you can see. And this one is kind of a creepy one. These are like, you know, we got the Frankenstein looking one and then we got this guy with the many, many eyeballs on both sides of his body. So that's kind of a unique figure, it's definitely different. 
Next up we have the Zoomies, and this is a kid robot, golden oldie. This one is from 2008, so it's 11 years old. <laughs> so you won't find many blind boxes here on the channel older than this, this guy. Now as far as the questions go, you can ask me anything from my favorite food to my favorite movie, whatever you want to ask. However, there's one stipulation. I don't want to answer questions about DCTC. So if we can leave those questions out, that would be great. Um, so here's a look at, this is the one I said I was looking for actually. So this is Ed's truck. There we go, we got the little flag. Actually, I think I put it on the wrong way. So there's the, the correct way. And then it comes with this little identification, vehicle registration, that rhymes like Dr. Seuss. This is Ed's tow truck. Model year number one, color yellow, Ed's truck, fuel diesel. I don't see a license plate on this thing, but there you go. There's Ed's truck. All right, so another thing, I'm going to give you guys another incentive on this video. This is all sorts of fun stuff in this video. A little different than what I normally do. If this video can get, I would say, 75 likes within one week, I'll actually get on camera and answer all the questions in front of the camera instead of behind the camera. So there you go. If we can get 20 questions and 75 likes, I will get on camera for you guys and answer all your questions. And here's a look at our Spider-Man. And I think he's supposed to come with, did he not come with anything else? I guess he didn't. So he comes with this little web. I'll get them all put together real quick. So here's our goofy looking Spider-Man. I say he's goofy looking because his legs are kind of weirdly shaped. Like they're going different ways here. You can bend them a little bit and his arm you can just kind of move it back and forth like that now his web can actually stick to stuff because it's got a magnet as you can see right there but you know he is a neat looking spider-man he's just again he's kind of angled differently <laughs> it, uh, here's a look at some of the different figures that you can get now this is the one I was thinking of when I pulled him out of the box I was like where's his little wall because I've gotten that one in the past so there's, I guess, three Spider-Mans, and I have not gotten the black one yet. Here's a look at this side. We have gotten both of those, but I think the black one, the black Spider-Man, is the only one that we're missing out of this group, the Spider-Man alien costume. And way back in the back, I had to kind of reach back there, we have another one of these. This is the Mega Man Rockman series in Japanese, and thank you for correcting me on that. I did get the Air Man. I wasn't sure about it. I did say it was in Mega Man uh, 3, and it was actually in Mega Man 2, so I was one off on that. But inside of here, we got Mega Man. So let's see, where's he at on the box? This is kind of a different looking one than that one, is it? Okay, it's so that one right there, there he is. So I guess there's, let's see, one, two, yeah, I guess there's three, four different Mega Mans in this series. This is a new one. I have not gotten this one in the past. Here's a look at this little guy. He looks pretty happy right there, about to blast something. <laughs> That's a really neat one. Now these are zipper pulls, so they go on book bags or keychains or wherever you want to put them. And let's go ahead and open up an egg next. So we have this thing right here. This is definitely one of the more unique eggs that I've made. It's really, really silly looking. Let's go ahead and get this flower off, get the sunglasses, the lips, and this little girly skeleton. <laughs> let's get all that off of there. And let's see what we have inside of our Play-Doh egg. So for this one, we have a couple different things. We have a Hot Wheels and a Super Mario. So let's go ahead and start with the Super Mario. This is series number four, and I'm assuming this is all the figures. I don't think these have like mystery figures inside of them. So for this one, if I can get it open, we got, what do we get? We got this thing. <laughs> did we get Mario? Oh, we did, nice. Okay, so we got Mario. I'm gonna get them all put together. We'll see what he looks like. And here we go with Mr. Mario. This looks like the original number one Mario from the regular Nintendo. That's what I see when I look at this guy. And this came from series number four. All right, so next up, we have the Hot Wheels Mystery Models series number deuce. So let's see what we get inside of here. And I cut right into whatever that is. <laughs> so we got this guy right here. So it's like a yellow Lamborghini-ish with the Dale Earnhardt number three on the side there. 
I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Maybe it's a Corvette. I can't really tell. It's. Let's see, does it say it on the bottom? It says Mitsubishi Double Shots. I don't think that's a real car. <laughs> so there it is. Maybe it's like a concept car. That's what I'm thinking maybe they're going with this one. All right, so next up we have the Disney Urban Vinyl and this is Redux Series number one, Uno. And this one actually has odds on it. So even if you buy an entire case of this one, you're not guaranteed to get the full set. And there is a one in 24 and a one in a gabillion. Look at that, it's just question marks. You don't see that very often. It's so rare that they don't even have the odds on it. All right, so for this one, we got, we got the ant one. And I have gotten this one in the past. So this one is a one in six. It's definitely a common. And it's one of the de definitely easier ones to get. It's a really neat one though, I like this one a lot. The ants on his little clear ears are a very nice touch. And as you can see, it's like an ant farm. It's a picture of a barn and a fence with a rooster and then the ants are crawling around down there. It is a very, very cool figure. I like that one a lot. All right, so moving on along, we have the Vinylmation Nursery Rhymes. Here's a look at some of the different figures that you can get. I have gotten a lot of these. The Three Little Mice were probably my favorite out of this set. And I don't remember if we've gotten the Chaser though. I can't remember if I've gotten that one out of this. Uh, for this one, we got, who, do, who is this? Little Bo Peep? You know, I was actually gonna say Little Bo Peep and I have not gotten this one. This is a new one. And the only reason I thought it was Little Bo Peep because I saw the little cane that she has, the little staff. And that immediately reminded me of her. And then of course, she has the little crazy looking sheep on her ears. That's a very, very cool figure. I like that one a lot. We've gotten some really good stuff today. All right, so moving on along to our final blind box. And then we have one more Play-Doh egg. This is gonna be the Urban number three. So here's a look at some of the different figures. We've gotten a lot of these. I know I haven't gotten this guy right here. I don't know what that is. It's like a bear that's kind of foaming at the mouth. And for this one, where is the tear strip? Where are you at? Where are you? It's not on there. These don't have them. All right, so inside we, oh wow, this is a new one. Okay, so this is a green looking bear with a lot of little teeth on him. And he's actually the first one in the second row. He actually doesn't really look green on the box. He looks kind of like a, a faded, really faded green, but he's definitely not faded on his character. Of course, he's got these two little lumps right there. I don't know if those are supposed to be there or if that's like a defect, I can't tell. I think those are supposed to be there. <laughs> so here's a look at the back. It looks like he's got like this giant tail and these little spikes. Maybe he's a dragon. I think that might be a dragon, especially with the little claws on his feet. That's what I'm thinking. Not a bear, but a dragon. All right, so moving along, we got one item left for the video, and that's gonna be this guy. So this is just a really simple, colorful Play-Doh egg. Let's get all this Play-Doh off. And inside, we got a couple surprise packs. We have the Walking with Dinosaurs, and we have this guy, the Collectible DC Comics Original. All right, so let's start with this. This one I'm not that excited about, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I had it laying around and I was like, you know, I really need to show one of these because I haven't done, I think I've done maybe one of these, but we actually did get a pretty cool figure out of it. And here's a really good look at this guy. I don't know the name of this one, but I've played a lot of Ark, the video game, and this looks a lot like a dinosaur in that game that could scream and like command other dinosaurs to follow it around. I don't know if it's the same species or not, but that's what it reminds me of. It almost looks like he's got some wings on his arms. Very unique. And I forgot to show you guys these two cards. So here's the card with the Hot Wheels. Here's the Maria Clapsis artist card that goes with that Vinylmation. All right, last but not least, we have this. This is gonna be the DC Comics and Junior Action Hero is what this is called, I guess, the series. And we got the Green Lantern. 
And you know, the crazy thing is, looking at this figure, these are actually more well-made than some of the other figures back there that are way more expensive. How crazy is that? Look how nice these little figures are. And I couldn't finish this video out without talking a little bit about this plush guy right here. So of course this is the Lion King, and I am super, super excited about the new upcoming live-action Lion King movie that's going to be coming out soon. You know, Lion King has always been my favorite Disney movie, so really, really excited about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today. If you did, be sure and press that like button. That helps support the content here on the channel, and it allows me to continue making more videos like this. This is Zero, and as always, thank you guys for stopping by.